Hello, happy new year nearly, blimey. So, I'm going to uh, tell you my top five UK cask beers of 2022 soon. Uh, I've not included any Manx beers in that because there's a couple of Manx beers that will definitely be in the top five. So I just want to keep it UK. I'm just in the Queens in Laxey, Grand Old Pub. I reviewed this last year and uh, I think it was the Audience Mile, but it's one of my top ten pubs in the island. It's really good. I'm just having a pint of normal Bushy's Bitter here and uh, it's 3.8%, it's Fuggles, it's Golding, straightforward, no nonsense, nice maltiness, nice hoppiness and a good session bitter. Nice, nice and sessionable. So anyway, guess what's coming? New Year, and I need to make a New Year resolution very soon. Now I was reading an article the other day, and it said smoking, drinking, and eating too many pies can knock ten years off your life. Blimey! Well, I thought I would have to take a, a, make a life-changing decision here. When I read that article, I thought, blimey! I need to sort myself out. So my New Year's resolution for 2023 is that I'm going to give up reading yes I'm not going to read anymore it's bad for your health reading no just going to crack on what I normally do so let's crack on with my top five UK beers of 2022 all on cask uh, let's start with number five in fifth place Great Corbury Brewery Fox Brown Ale 4.6% so, all these five beers are all UK beers, not from the Isle of Man. There's a couple from the Isle of Man would definitely be in the top five, a couple of outstanding ones. So these are all from the UK and they're all from the north of England because I've not been down the south of England at all this year and we don't got many southern beers on the Isle of Man, it's mainly northern beers. So, number five is from the Great Corby Brewery of Carlisle, Cumbria. And it was a Great Corby Fox Brown Ale coming in at 4.7%. Now I had this when I was in the Lake District and I went for a walk around a place called Rydalwater and uh, called in this great pub with a coal fire called a Badger Bar. So I had this, put it on the table, right in front of the fire, great head, and it just looked great and it tasted absolutely fantastic. Fruity, nutty, just for what you want from a brown ale. So it was really good. So that was my number five beer. Let's move on to number four. In fourth place, Joseph Holt Brewery, 6x Old Ale, 6%. Mm. Number four was uh, a beer we had in the White House in Peel on the Isle of Man. And uh, it's from Joseph Holt Brewery, this brewery from 1849, produced this bottle beer. It's been going for 120 years. And now and again they put it on cask and it's called 6x and it comes in at six percent like an old ale and we managed to get one of the 24 firkins to the isle of man and we put it in the pub in the white house and me dougie gluggy and the lads came down and we had a great night on it it was really good but the beer was so moorish like fruitcake and licorice it was absolutely gorgeous and it was outstanding really really good so we had a good time on that now Joseph Holt Brewery is one of the last breweries in the island to have hogsheads, which are 54 gallon, uh, 432 pints. I think there may be one more brewery left in Britain, and maybe Bayfoams in West Midlands who do hogsheads. So that's 54 gallons hogshead. The next one is barrels at 36 gallon. Uh, that's 288 pints. And then the most common three are for, uh, Kilderkins, 18 gallon. That's uh, 144 pints. Firkins, uh, nine gallon, 72 pints, and a pin, four and a half gallon, which is 36 pints, and they're the most common three nowadays. So, Joseph Holt 6X, excellent beer, was my number four. Let's move on to the top three. In third place, Coniston Brewery, number nine, barley wine, 8.5%. So beer number three comes from the Coniston Brewery in the Lake District. Now, I went to, in this pub called the Black Bull, which is just in front of the brewery, and a uh, great pub with a coal fire again and all that. And uh, I had a number nine barley wine, 8.5%, blimey. And uh, normally I'd have the bluebird bitter in there, but I felt like something a bit more meatier. The coal fire was blaring out, I had my sausage and mash, 
and it was fantastic in there and his barley wine was absolutely scrumptious it was just sort of spiciness and fruitness it was lovely really good and uh, a lot of the walkers came in and was buying the bottles of this number nine barley wine by the dozen and taking them out so that's number nine coniston brewery well done in second place marble brewery manchester bitter 4.2 percent so number two was Marble Manchester Bitter, which was quite close to getting number one really, because it was an outstanding bitter of quality. The balance between the Mots and the Holtz was fantastic, and the long lingering finish, and it was also in the Marble Arch pub in Manchester, another outstanding pub. And uh, the Marble Brewery is uh, 25 years old this year. So uh, yeah, an outstanding bitter of quality, Marble Manchester Bitter, really good. Right, on to number one. In first place, the winner, Feakston's Brewery, Old Peculiar, 5.6%. So, Feakston's Old Peculiar, number one. Excellent beer, excellent. And uh, this is from the great Feakston's Brewery of 1827 it was established. And the Old Peculiar is such a stalwart, yeah, it's a fantastic beer. And I was reviewing this in the Royal Oak in Ambleside, and as was put it to my lips, it wowed me completely, and I forgot what I was talking about. As did the Marble Manchester beer, to be fair, that wowed me as well. And uh, it just took me like, wow, took me back in years. And we had this again, me and Gluggy Duggy, when we went to uh, Lancaster in the John O'Gorn pub. And again, the quality of it was absolutely outstanding. It's just got this lovely licorice uh, fruity, plummy taste. It's just so deep, really nice. So, Feakston's all peculiar. Defo, no problem being number one with that. And if you've never tried it on cast, give it a go. It's much better than the bottle. So that's it, top five UK cask ales of 2022. Not a bad choice in my opinion. I will try and go down south of England next year and try a few more southern beers. It's only fair, isn't it? Now it's going to be a trying year 2023 for these breweries and pubs and we've got to do our best to get out there and get to the pub if we can afford it. And if you can't afford to go to the pub, have a beer at home at least. I think most people watching this normally do anyway. So uh, yeah. So let's keep the pubs going, keep the breweries going, and let's hope we have a good 2023 and do our best. So for now, I'd just like to wish everybody Happy New Year, and I'll see you in 2023. Cheers everyone, bye bye.